What do you see in the picture? Travel. <laughs> yeah, that's right. These are two suitcases, and what do you think they represent? Yes. <laughs> yes. For some people, yes. This is simply the life of an international or ESL student, and I'm pretty sure most of you can relate to this. This is my whole life, condensed in two suitcases. When I decided to come to this country to pursue my education in the United States, these two suitcases, they were very heavy. You know why? No. Books? Money? Money? <laughs> yeah, not exactly that. They were full of dreams. They were full of aspiration, goals, but they were full of fear too, a lot of fear. Good afternoon, dignitaries, fellow students and guests. I'm extremely honored to be here on this podium in front of this amazing, amazing audience. As a matter of fact, it wasn't long ago when I was standing here in this very same stage, three years ago, when I delivered my, and I shared my inspirational and motivational speech about my story, which I decided to call it belief. I think that uh, receptivity, when I finished that speech, was very positive. And from that day on, my academic life changed for the best. So, I would like to call this speech belief number two, because this is the second part. And I think every first part must have a second one. So, here's mine. Sometimes I like to improvise. What I feel with improvisation, we, we tend to leave out so many uh, details or information, and I don't want to do that today. So I decided to uh, write a little script, so if you don't mind, I'm going to read it to you. And before I carry on, let me introduce myself. My name is Israel Velasquez Turbelli. I'm from Venezuela, and I've been in this country for six years now. Okay, before I go any further, how many of you are ESL students? Could you raise your hand, please? It's a pleasure to meet you, all of you. Not so long ago, I was here, three years ago, in the other side of the fence, just like you, being an ESL student. And I'm not going to go through all my difficulties coming to this country, because I already did that. So um, let's pretend nothing happened. But I, but I did struggle a lot coming here, uh, fighting for my student visa. And especially fight with the thought of quitting, of stop doing what I was believing to. And that thought was invading my, my mind many times. But let's keep it simple and let's talk about the positive side of this journey. These are important quotes that every time I feel depressed, I try to go back to them and remember what I'm here and remember what I'm doing. So, Colin College, I started as an ESL student right here at this campus. Actually, Colin College helped me with the paperwork to have my student status. For that reason, this college always will be my first alma mater. My first semester as an ESL student, I was lucky enough to be nominated for the Engage Scholarship. Dr. Terrell was the responsible of that donation. So if you don't mind, let's give some applause to her. <laughs> she believed in me way before I did. This scholarship made me open my eyes, and, and I think it gave me one of the most important lessons in life. And it was to believe. Yes, to believe. I started believing in myself and having more confidence that I could do this. 
Going forward, I started my college classes, and great news was coming my way. Dr. Wayne nominated me for another emergency scholarship, and I would like to acknowledge her today and give her some love and a round of applause too. She's right there. I still remember how many times I went to her office when I was feeling depressed and was feeling down because uh, that semester was, was something in particular and I had some rough times and she helped me a lot with advice and guidance and that's something that I will never forget. And by the way, I encourage all of you to take her speech classes, phenomenal. <laughs> Now, with two scholarships, I felt more secure and believing in myself like never before. The last semester here at Colin, which it was one of the best, I received another incredible news. Um, Dr. Couch, she sent me an email, and I didn't know she was going to be here, but she's here with us. She's right there. Thank you, Dr. Couch. And uh, she nominated me for an American Scholar Program, which is an award that I received weeks after in my mail. From that point on, I was ready to go on and continue with my bachelor's degree. Before I continue, I would like to acknowledge also uh, Dr. Schweiz. She has helped me tremendously too with my education journey. Dr. Schweiz in the back. Thank you for coming. So moving forward in the Texas A&M program. Uh, this is where I'm, I'm currently doing my bachelor's degree in bilingual education. During my off-season, before entering as a new student, around March, I was going to start classes later that fall. I received a call from the Texas A&M University Scholarship Department. A lady goes, Israel Velasquez, you've been awarded with a transfer tier 2 scholarship because of your excellent transfer in DPA. Do you accept it? I was thinking like, what? Really, is that even possible? I haven't even applied for it. I, 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 I mean, I didn't know what she was talking about. So, between my emotions, tears, and discomposure, I said, yes, of course. I, I accept it. Along with this scholarship, in the secondary semester, I was um, entering in the President Scholars of Texas A&M University, as far as a, a one of the most prestigious organization, which is uh, Sigma Alpha Pi. God willing, I will start my internship and residency very soon in order to graduate next year. My next endeavor will be on April 7, when I will be one of the speakers for the Bill Martin Jr. Symposium held at Texas A&M Commerce. I will be bringing my life story plus my experience with English language learners in schools. My purpose is to make these students become fully bilingual and fully bilateral in English. I want to take the opportunity to invite everyone, if you have a chance to make the travel, I know it's far, it's like an hour away, but the event is great. I also would like to thank all the committee for having me here today, and of course, uh, Dr. Terra for the invitation. I would like to close out by telling the ESL students something. All of you. This is just the beginning of a wonderful journey that is ahead of you. So I'm going to uh, break protocol here, so I'm going to read my notes. I don't like protocol so much. And to every ESL student, I just want to tell you, Never take a no for an answer. I was there three years ago, and it was hard. And I just uh, listened to Alina's story, and I feel very related to her. Never take a no for an answer. For every no you get, make it a yes. There is a yes behind it. For every door you see closed, there is another door waiting to be open. Believe in what you do. Believe, believe. This is something that you have to do. You will, and you can. Thank you, everyone. This is my story. God bless you.